Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the segmentation technique in memory management. So in this uh, first we discuss about the user's view of memory in which a programmer views a process consisting of unordered segments of variable uh, varying purposes. This view is more useful than thinking of a linear array of words. We really don't care at what address a segment is located. So, typical segments include global variables, processor call stack, code for each function, local variables for each, and large data structures. So, in this, the logical set address is consisting of the segment number and the offset. As uh, we were discussing the paging technique, that uh, the logical address was the combination of page page number and offset in segmentation the logical address is the combination of segment number and the uh, segment offset so in this the memory is addressed by both uh, segment number and the offset the basic difference between the page and the segment is that the page pages in the paging technique were of the uh, same size all the pages are of the same size but in uh, segmentation the segments are of different size that means some uh, segment can be of smaller size some can be of the larger size that means th there is no fixed size for the segments uh, in, in this uh, we use the hardware uh, to check the limit in the memory for the segment because the segments are of variable size so we have to check the limit before uh, converting the logical address into the physical address so when the logical address is fed to the segment table which consists the, of the limit address so that uh, offset of the logical address is fed to the limit which is checked if it is less than the limit or not if less than limit then it is uh, proceeded to the uh, conversion of to the physical address and if no it will be discarded and the segment number is there uh, is stored in the uh, segment table as an index which is which uh, then using the after checking the limit it will be uh, your segment number will be combined with the uh, will be identified with the base address of the physical memory and that base address will be combined with the offset to generate the physical address in the memory that means the process is same as the paging technique except uh, because the segments are of varying size so the uh, as the offset defines the size of the segment so the se offset will be checked if it is uh, less than the limit of the particular uh, frame in the memory if it is less than so it will be uh, converted to the physical address else otherwise it will be discarded so as you can see uh, in the diagram that in the segment table there are three entries the segment number then the limit and then the base address in the physical memory and the corresponding uh, logical address having the five segments 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 all are, all are of different sizes then uh, these uh, segments are then uh, uh, mapped into the physical memory using the first checking the limit limit in the from the segment table of each segment and then by using the base register they are allocated in the memory physical memory as you can see in the diagram for example there are two processes uh, with uh, two segments segment 0 and segment 1 segment 0 consists contains editor data and segment 1 contains data 1 Similarly, in the process 2, segment 0 contains editor data and segment 1 contains data 2. So, as uh, the segment 0 contains the similar data in the both the processes, so it will not be loaded twice in the physical memory. So, both the processes handle uh, separate uh, physical uh, segment tables 
So this is the segment table process for process P1 and this is the segment table for process P2. In this uh, segment 0 has a limit of uh, 25 to 86 and the base is 43062. So uh, after checking the limit it will be stored at the uh, th this particular memory address uh, 43062 and with the size of 25286. So it will be stored in the memory location. Then the next is segment 0, segment 1 has the base register of 68348. So it will be stored at the location in physical memory at 68348 and uh, with the limit of 4425 uh, that is the uh, size of the uh, particular uh, segment or block in the physical memory. So it will be stored in the uh, this particular block. Then process P2 comes which has the same base and the same limit of the segment 0. So the, as the segment has the same data so it will not store the, uh, that particular block into the memory again because it is already there in the uh, physical memory. So it will be used for the process 2 also and the other segment 1 block will be stored at a different uh, memory block that is 90003. This is the 9003 block where the data 2 will be stored. So this is how the segmentation takes place. So in this the protection and sharing is there as the addresses are associated with the physical uh, logical unit uh, so protection is easy. क्योंकि एड्रेसेस जो लॉजिकल यूनिट के साथ एसोसिएटेड है तो प्रोडक्शन क्या है इसके अंदर इजी है कैन डू बाउंड्स चेकिंग ऑन एरेज एरेज जो डेटा के जो ब्लॉक्स हैं आप ब्लॉक्स ऑफ एरे हैं उसके ऊपर बाउंड्स लगा के हम क्या कर सकते हैं चेक कर सकते हैं बाउंड्स को उनको यूजिंग द लिमिट्स देन शेयरिंग स्पेसिफाइड एट ए लॉजिकल लेवल ए सेगमेंट हैज एन एट्रीब्यूट कॉल्ड शेयरेबल अगर लॉजिकल लेवल के ऊपर शेयरिंग स्पेसिफाइड है तो उसके लिए हम एक एट्रिब्यूट यूज करते हैं इसको हम बोलते हैं शेयरेबल जिसके थ्रू हम क्या करते हैं शेयरिंग कर सकते हैं एंड इट कैन शेयर सम कोड बट नॉट ऑल कुछ कोड को ये शेयर कर सकती है लेकिन पूरे पूरे कोड को शेयर नहीं कर सकती जैसे कि हमने अभी एग्जांपल में देखा कि जो एडिटर जो मॉड्यूल था वो शेयर हो गया दोनों प्रोसेसेस के बीच में क्योंकि दोनों क्या यूज कर रखा है सेम कोड यूज कर रखा है तो वो दोनों के अंदर क्या होता है शेयर हो जाता है फॉर एग्जांपल मान लो कोई कॉमन लाइब्रेरी रूटीन्स होते हैं जो ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड होते हैं सिस्टम के अंदर और दोनों प्रोसेसेस यूज कर रहे हैं तो उसको हम क्या कर सकते हैं शेयर कर सकते हैं देन फ्रेगमेंटेशन इन दिस इट यूजेस वेरिएबल एलोकेशन सिंस सेगमेंट्स लेंथ वेरी क्योंकि सेगमेंट्स क्या है ऑफ डिफरेंट लेंथ है तो वेरिएबल एलोकेशन होती है इसके अंदर तो इट हैव सम इश्यूज ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेशन आल्सो देयर इन द सिस्टम smaller segment means lesser fra less fragmentation and uh, can use compaction since segments are relocatable to agar segments chote hain to uske andar fragmentation kya hogi kam hogi less hogi aur agar uh, segments bade size ke hain to uske andar jo fragmentation kya hai wo zyada hone ke chances hai to lekin usko overcome karne ke liye hum fir kya use karna padega a different technique use karna padegi jo humne pehle discuss ki thi memory managing and andar that is compaction यानी कि जो छोटे जो अवेलेबल फ्री स्पेस होगा उसको हम कंबाइन करके एक लार्जर ब्लॉक बना के उसको यूज कर सकते हैं हम फॉर डिफरेंट अदर प्रोसेसेस सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द सेगमेंटेशन टेक्निक इन मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी यू कैन हैव इन यू कैन हैव इन इंटरेक्शन विद मी ऑन माय कांटेक्ट डिटेल्स आइदर थ्रू द मेल और थ्रू द व्हाट्सएप थैंक यू वेरी मच Have a nice day.